Folks, I'm back in the kitchen, trying to show you my recipe for a wonderful summer cake. Orange marmalade cake with cream cheese frosting, right here on my take on Home and Garden. Alrighty, so we're gonna get a look at everything we're gonna use today for my wonderful orange marmalade cake with cream cheese frosting. Two cup measuring cup, one fresh orange, extra pretty, <laughs> one pound, two ounce orange marmalade, one yellow cake mix, some confectionery powdered sugar, one pack cream cheese, vegetable oil, stick of butter, your mixer that you have in the drawer for years and don't use, one oven that's just told me it's ready at 350, two nine inch baking pans, and Crisco, the all vegetable shortening. Forever, just the best. Alrighty, folks, you're gonna be glad you came by for this one. <laughs> it's a dandy, no kidding. Check it out. We're doing an orange marmalade cake. It's my own recipe. I don't know if you can find it in a book or online. This one's mine. <laughs> so we're gonna make the cake and we're gonna make the frosting from scratch. Okay, the cake is a simple box cake. They're almost from scratch. You gotta add everything to it anyway, except the baking soda and powder. So we're gonna crack three eggs. Farm fresh fatties from North Carolina. I just happen to know where they can buy them. <laughs> Talk to the dairy guy. Beautiful. I like to bust them up before I add anything else. Just takes a second. You know, to get this done, you might have to get out of the chair. Come on now, get out of the chair and make your family something special. <laughs> They'll love you for it. Here's a cake mix. So I love scissors. I'm really using the scissors in the kitchen lately for Closed bags like this, sugar bags, flour, pancake mix. Okay, we're gonna add that cake mix. And this is a yellow cake. I love the wooden, the wooden spoons. Something nostalgic about it. They don't scrape and scratch anything. What else we got now? The mix will tell you one cup of water. Okay, you saw in my last cake, if you were here, that wonderful coconut cake. Everybody's still talking about it, I'm not kidding. We used something really different in there. We used milk <laughs> instead of water. This recipe, I'm using orange juice. So we're gonna get a cup of orange juice. No water, no milk. This is going to give it that zing. Okay, let's get that in our cake mix. All right, now I'm taking a nice swipe of the orange marmalade. Maybe even two. Okay. Oh, you know, I just dined it. Lick the spoon there, but can't do that yet. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing here and get our mixture mixed. I mean, this is going to be pretty, guys. Oh, I can't even believe the smell already. Just the smell have you licking your lips. Okay guys, I'm liking that. Now I gotta put in that half a cup of oil. A 
Okay, now you new folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. And make sure when you hit the bell, you hit all. So you'll be notified for each video, not just the next video, but you gotta hit all. I'm taking a half a piece of restaurant napkin and getting my Crisco out. And that's how I like to put it on the pan. Okay, nice and even. Need my rubber spatula, and I wanna get this batter in here as evenly in the amounts that I can. This is gonna be a smaller cake, two layer, but it's still gonna be substantial, especially for you couples out there. Now, if you missed the last cake, and if I forgot to say it, I cut that cake up for our family of who's left at the house now, which is four, four people, and I froze two big pieces, and we ate that three different times. And when we got it out of the freezer, it was so moist and wonderful, you'd swear we just made it again. I know two of you aren't gonna wanna build that big cake, but if you wanna have something at the ready in the freezer, that recipe freezes really, really well. And they were put in a freezer bag and that's all it needed. It thawed out in about three hours. It was wonderful again. Oh my goodness. Check it out, guys. Two pans pop in the oven. So I'm gonna set the timer and we're gonna go to 26 minutes. All righty, now what? Have I got to turn the cameras off and wait? No, we're going to make the frosting. Let's get our littler ball that we have ready. Now, if I was really on it, I'd already had my half a cup measuring cup out. But it is right here at the island. There's a half of confectionery sugar. And that's one cup, and I think this was a little light. Now, I want two cups. So that's four of these. Okay, and you remember from the last time, it took very little liquid to make our frosting. We're gonna open up our cream cheese packet. Now you squeamish, don't be whining, just cause you usually don't have cream cheese. This is nectar of the gods right here. Now we're gonna take a half a stick of butter with our cream cheese. It's been out here getting nice and soft. Okay, half. Oh, man, you guys, the oven's cranking out some smells. The frosting's cranking out smells already. <laughs> I can tell I'm already in trouble trying to hold up on all this. We're gonna take about one, maybe three big swipes out of that. And I'm gonna look at it, okay? Then, probably a tablespoon of orange juice. We'll try that first. Then we'll take a look at this incredible. Oh yeah, I can tell I'm gonna need a little more. A little more orange. So now we're at like three tablespoons. And I'm gonna work this a bit so it doesn't go all over the place before I turn it on. That's looking nice. Oh, already we almost have control. Maybe we got it. Let's turn that bowl to get it off the side. Tip your beater a little bit. Yep, 
You cooks, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but the new folks, people that don't know, I want to help them. Now I want a little bit of air, so I'm going up a click. What I'm looking for is that perfect flavor and texture, and that's going to tell me how much marmalade I want. You know, everybody's different. <laughs> oh my goodness sake. What I taste here is a little heavy on the cream cheese, so I want to use some more of the marmalade just to get that balance and that's all I'm telling you about. There's even a little left for toast. Alrighty then. Let's get that going. So we're going to incorporate the rest of that. I think every kitchen goes by taste, don't you? That's what makes it individual. Okay, loving it, loving it. Take them off. I'm going to start picking up, putting my stuff away. And we're just waiting for those wonderful cake layers to be done and cool off. Okay, guys, you can see I just got these out of the oven. They look fantastic. I'm going to put them on a cooling rack so they'll cool faster. Oh, boy. <laughs> just perfect at 25 minutes on our oven and again that crown will lay down a little bit and these are thinner layers so I think it's gonna work out really perfect now the other thing I want to do while I'm waiting and while we're all waiting for that to cool I want to cut this beautiful orange the only reason I got it was for the decoration on the cake. For a glorious finish on that cake. Razor thin for my garnish. Now for my garnish, I wanted three full-size thin slices. And then I'm doing some thin half slices like this and if they're not super thin I'm coming back again and just getting half of that rind real careful and there's my pretty slice and if anyone noticed yes I think Jim Boyer is gonna notice that the dessert for today matches the decor in the kitchen <laughs> and yes it was on purpose all righty let's get the finish on the cake here we are we have a rubber spatula we have a frosting remember you guys that made fun of your mom and your grandma having all these tools Thought it was a waste of time. Here's a simple turntable. You might have one on your breakfast table. Cake stand. That's all you need to really help you make a nice cake. Get it decorated. Okay, here's the second layer. I'm going to... I think we have plenty of frosting. I'm going to put a little light layer in the, in the middle. This should be cooled down pretty good, but it was warm in here. I can't run the air when I'm filming because of the noise. It's just ridiculous. And the frosting was getting thin. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Now I've flipped this cake out of the pan onto the cooling rack. Now I'm going to take it back to get it right side up like this. 
and get it on there. What a cute little two layer cake. So now I think we got plenty of frosting to go on here. I'm gonna cut to the chase, put a bunch of that on top. What I think I'm gonna use. So we'll carefully come off. Look at this. You see how pretty with the marmalade in the frosting. Now you just want to get that to cascade over a little bit and then come over here with your turntable and get that all around. I know there's not too many in the chair now, only unless you have to be because you guys got mowing, mowing to do. <laughs> wow. I'll be honest and I'll be quick to get this in the fridge to set up real nice. And then let me show you my garnish idea here. Kind of three on top. And put some slices around. Not sure how far they'll go. So I'll skip a space and see what I got. I probably got plenty. Uh, I'm guessing I got plenty. <laughs> no measuring required or even thought of. Ooh, it's going to be close. That's impossible. Is that going to be exact? No way. I don't even believe that. <laughs> Just a guess. There you go. In the fridge. What a shame. I'm going to have to lick the spoon. And now, I probably need to take you and show you all around our cake. You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can Clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said well, I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play I don't know about that Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so Well, I don't know about that Or should I turn on the TV or the radio? Well, I don't know about that So folks, if you liked our video today, bake with me orange marmalade cream cheese cake. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Send your cousin over. <laughs> Tell them how much fun we have. And you know we'll see you soon in the next over the top incredible cook with me garden video remodel collector video. Decorator video. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>